Hello guys, welcome to my uh, unboxing of the HMS Victory. This is the full kit. I managed to pick this up for about uh, well under half price off someone. They've only gone up to stage 16, which is basically where I've gone up to on my Victory. Uh, the only difference is, is they've assembled the um, the frames for the back, which isn't a lot of steps, it doesn't bother me to be honest. And it's all in these two boxes, it's absolutely huge. It weighs a lot, it's very heavy. Um, so what I'm going to start, I've removed the postage labels and everything. Start by opening this up. He said it was double packaged, so maybe a bit of effort. We'll see there. Better safe than sorry, to be honest. Especially when selling something online. <coughs> yeah, it is double packaged. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Right. First thing, he, he said that he's also giving me loads of uh, extras and things like that. First one I get is a cutting mat. Very big and very heavy. I'm surprised he actually provided me with this, to be honest, because it adds quite a bit to the shipping. Uh, by the way, he the listing. Um, the instructions were, weren't sort of like the normal ones where you get a, like a pack instruction for one pack but like issue instructions as in the old version of the model uh, where they would include issues but yeah here we have a box for the parts oh this one's heavy push that out of the way I'll cover that in a sec um so he's included these I believe are all the plans I did tell him to include the plans because I cannot download the plans digitally but I can download the um, I can download the instructions but not the plans which is a problem so main, main mast, full mast rigging uh, Mizzen mass plans, bow sprit sprit sail yard plans. I'll, I'll actually look how they look to be honest. Yeah, it's all very detailed drawings of how everything should look. Uh, next, uh, he has included quite a few duplicate issues for me, and this one's been a bit messed up actually, this is issue 2, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to make it again of course, but, if you offered it for free, why not? That's issue 2, I'll put the duplicates over there because I don't really need them. Uh... This is what I mean by the issues, by the way. They include this thick of a magazine for each issue, and there's 120, so you can tell how much weight that was going to do. So there's no point. Issue 5. Issue 3. I'll cover that last. Issue 30. Duplicate issue for issue 30. And duplicate for issue 7. Um, duplicate issue 4 uh, I'm not too sure stage 11 this is duplicate as well stage 6 duplicate sets so issue 6 and 11 basically um, got a modeler's guide won't really be looking into that issue 1 with another copy of the modeler's guide. Um, 
yeah, that's quite nice actually. Canon things like that. I've already covered all these things in um, my review of pack one, so I'm not going to go over them again. That's why I'm going through it so quickly. Issue eight. Ugh. Issue twelve. And issue thirty again, I believe. I believe that's again. Um, he's also included all these clamps for me, which is nice. I do have a lot already, as you can tell. Um, but nice to have. And here we have. I'll get this over this first, actually. This is the first issue for the cross section. Um, I don't know what I'll do with it, I includes quite a few accessories actually, so if, if you are building a, a model with a cutout, I imagine that would be quite useful, but I'm not too interested in the, um, the cross section as it, the victory itself takes up a lot of space, like it won't even fit in a shelf that's there, because of how tall it is. So what I'm going to have to do is actually move, I don't even know where I'm going to put it, but there's no way I can fit a cross section in there as well. Um, here we have the included GIF that comes with the model, I can't remember, I think it's pack 2 this comes, which is a, a clamp tool, gives you some extra hands. This is a very nice one actually. Because I have owned like two of these before, but I've I've mostly chucked them away because they're a bit fiddly. But this one does look very solid, to be honest with you. And it's a lot bigger as well, as you can see. I I I don't really I'm not really a fan of these because my eye, eyes aren't too bad and I'm not too shaky. But it's nice to have anyway. He also included a big as the bag of tools. I'll just open this up. Where's the noise? I think I uh, may have to split this into two parts because of how it to get to the box. First thing, wood adhesive. Uh, I've already got some wood adhesive. Uh, I'm not too sure how thin or thick this is because normally what you want to this is resin based actually I may not use this um, I'm not too sure it's good to have though anyway I'll put that over there uh, more clamps I've got far too much clamps at this point to be honest with you but who knows they're not the they're not the um, clamps on the most <coughs> sturdy tool in the world, so in case any of it breaks, it's fine. Bike putty, easy, fast drying. Vapor harmful. Ooh, I don't know about that. I've got quite a few putties that aren't harmful because uh, these produce some fume vapor, but. It should be fine because now most 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 of the time when it is vapor, that's because they have it's like the two part epoxies that you normally have with uh, wood, where you mix in the hard enough thing. It's called I'm not sure what it's called, but it's like a little white paste that you mix into your filler. Here we have, I believe this is sanding sticks, they're very small, but they're actually going to be quite useful because I do need a few of these. Um, next we have Tamiya tape, I've never used this, uh, I've normally just used the standard off brand masking tape, but I've heard a lot of very nice things about these, but I've got refill, this is like a a refillable thing which is very nice actually happy to have that um next i'll just keep dropping stuff everywhere 
I'm not sure how long this unboxing is going to be because I will have to cover all the parts. Sorry, let's do this. It's a bit stuck in here. Sorry, sorry for the shaky unboxing. I don't really have anyone to help me with it. Clamps. These are very nice, actually. I can tell already. Silver line. Brand. Little press down clamps. Very nice, actually. I, I like how these are included with it. Next. Paint brushes. I most of my paint brushes are getting quite tacky, so it's good to have these to be honest. Enamel paint acrylic, very nice these. Uh quite the high quality as well, which I do like. Next more clamps and Mr. Surfacer 1000, I've never used this stuff, but I've heard some very nice things about it. Um, very popular thing amongst the hobbying world. But I've never used this, but I will definitely use it. I'm not sure if I'll use it on the wood kit, but I'll see. I could definitely use it on a plastic one. Uh, two copper paints. I've already got a copper here actually. I've got the full set for free because of my shipment of pack one has been delayed by a lot. And um, the problem with this paint, actually the copper paint, is that it is very chunky. It just comes out in chunks. Uh, no matter how long you mix it, so I may not actually use it. And I'm also tiling the bottom anyway, so I may not actually have to use it at all. But, yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure yet. Yeah, it depends how everything comes together. Here we have the toolkit that Diago Stini provides you with. And the third package gets sent, I believe. Oh, this, this, this is what I needed, actually. This is very useful. We got some snippers, needle nose pliers, oh, an Archimedes drill. This is just what I needed. Pin pusher, very nice. Plank bender, another Exacto knife, which is nice. Some files. I've actually run out of these as well. I broke. I managed to bend my that position. I can't get it back, which is a shame. But yeah, I believe this is part for the Exacto knife. Oh, I'm ha I'm very happy with this. Actually, this will help me out a lot. Yeah, this 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 is very good, especially the Archimedes drill. Make life a lot easier. There's something else here, actually. What is it? No, it's not. That that this is this is what I've been looking forward to. This is this is gonna help me out a lot. This it saves me a lot of money as well because uh, the plank benders and things like that are not cheap at all. It's quite pricey to be honest. So that's it for this box. Um, put that to the side. Actually, I'll put all the packing and stuff in there. I'm very sorry for the shaky unbox, I'm just a bit excited for this kit and I will push this out of the way. Right, this box is supposed to contain the keel, I'm not sure if that's it though because it is very heavy, but yeah, I'm going to unbox that now and then after that we'll look at all the parts. Right, um, there's one of them. 
Right. Let me just open this. Sorry about this. Sorry about this once again. Oh, I just got the phone. Right, sorry about that. Interesting packaging. Use what you have on hand, I guess. Loads of plastic bags. Plastic bags are 5p now, so I guess that helps out a bit. In here, we have the actual keel. Yeah, so here we have the keel. Uh, no damage to it, so he has done a very good job packaging it, to be honest. Same point as I am at. Um, yeah, exactly the same point, actually. And I'll put that to the side, because I, I think I will be using this keel, actually. Because he has done a very good job with it. Yeah, he has. All perfectly straight. And... Just small plaques. Plastic bags and things like that. Okay. I'm going to go through it all to make sure there's nothing else in there. Oh, this is a mess. This is an absolute mess. All the keel parts are in here. I'm going to open this up now and take a look. Right, got that open in here. Yep, we have the decking. This is the decking for pack two, which is the bottom decking. It's already marked out where the frames are for me, which is good, I guess. Help me out a bit. Yeah, it's all the decking. These are all the planks. Uh, he's already pre-cut them for me. So they're flexible around the keel. Very nice. There's four of these as well. So that looks like looks like everything's here for that. Next in here, bag inside of a bag. We have. Oh, I almost threw a part away there. Could have been quite bad. Right, so here we have part six, which is a mass support. So that's that, that's that's there. Part 30. 29. 28. 27. I'll sort this out actually into 26, 25, 24, 23, 22. This bit's kind of a bit loose, so I'll just glue that back up, doesn't matter. 21, 20, 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, and 13. That's all I need, I believe, apart from this 
uh, back bit that comes with a later issue, which should be in the parts box. I'll move this all aside. It's like a start unboxing, the main feature. Um, I'll be, I think I'll make this, um, I'm not, yeah, no, I'll, I'll be back in a second and I will, I'll tidy everything up and then I'll start unboxing all the parts. So, yeah. So, I believe I've now sorted each and every single part. I've sorted it into packs and uh, over here I have uh, packs I've already done. Uh, this is packs one and two and parts that I can't really sort because they have no uh, pack number. So I'll go through the first. Cannon, which we've already done. So this is like a spare. I'll put that over into the spare pile over there. Um, actually, I know exactly where these parts go, so I'll put them somewhere else. Okay. Uh, anchor, already done. Put that over there. Uh, right, so now what we have is one strip, don't know what this is for, but some string here, 0.25, more string, different sizes, more string, 0.25, more string, 0.5, Cover the string first, actually. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Um, but there are, of course, more, including the individual issues. I have some planks here and some pieces for the stairs. I'm not, so I'm not too sure. It doesn't have a pack number, so I'm not too sure where that belongs. Um, issue 19. We have the barrel slide. Another part here, I believe this is some sort of brace part. Some spare part. Uh, the launch part 9, don't need that. Uh, the, I believe these are the fillets for the front of the hull. Part 18 decking, which I'm going to have to do. Also has a cannon in there, as you can see. They do get worse on the packaging, like they don't include it in a nice, like, bubble plastic anymore. Um, some more sections of the decking, loads of pins, some planking as well for part 18. So 17, 18 is here, 19 is here, more planks with pins, another Part 9, don't need that. These are parts from early stages not built. So this cut, this is basically all the supports, things like that parts for the launch. Uh, I don't need most of it, but I'll put it here anyway. Replacement part. This is for the front decoration, I believe, from what I've seen in videos. Oh, more string, 0.25, and some hooks. Issue 3, cannon A, don't need that. Another cannon, don't need that. Here we have the launch that he's assembled. He's done a good job, but I've already built mine, so I'm going to use it. So that's a spare. Uh, right, so that covers everything here. I'm going to go over issue 20 on now. So part 20, we have strips and pins. Part 21, I can't see 21 in here, but I'm going to assume it's one of these here, because it's uh, strips of planking, so I can't find that. So 22, more strips, more pins, 23, more strips, more pins. 24, got a stand and another cannon, 25, uh, two cannons I believe, part 26, strips and pins, 
27 strip some thicker bits here and more pins 28 strips pins and 29 strips and pins it's just it just strips and pins doesn't really need any more detail than that to be honest with you guys so that's why I'm going over those quite quickly uh, issue 30 I'll just move this box out of the way so I can get over and take a look mm. issue 30 uh, sorry not issue 30 uh, pack 3 um, part 30 we got a anchor and a cannon part 32 strips and pins they include thousands of these pins by the time you're done I think you'll have so many strips left over because you pull them out in the end 30 on, I forgot to cover this plank strips pins 33 I can't see for 33 plank pins easy 34 um, is 34 here? I cannot see 34 I'm sure if I go over it again I'll probably see it but yeah I can't see that it's it's they're all definitely over there actually the planking um the planking that I haven't been provided the issues that I've been missing are, are over there in that pile I think and um 35 planks pins 36 planks pin 37 planks pins 38 planks pins 39 we have planks pins and uh, the first part of the keel absolutely massive yeah that's nice actually so, yeah it includes the thick parts for the keel as well as you can see here so that's pack 3 covered part 4 is over here I'll move this all out actually so it's easier 41 is uh, 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 no 40 have the gallery and the cannon um, very nice 41 we have some strips a piece of wood the gallery front and some more strips very nice 42 loads of these strips they're all different sizes I'm, I think this is for the decorating actually as you can see that most of them are different sizes and lengths thicknesses and a lot of pins as well there's a little detail part in here actually as I can see I believe this is a part that goes over the cannon it's just a little part 43, we got some strips and parts for the grating and we got the knees for the, um, no it's not, this is the support for the keel for the front and some balls for cannon balls, little steel balls uh, 44, loads of strips no pins, not sure what it's for. 45, loads of strips. We got the wheel and some uh, little brass wheels. I'm not sure what they're for. Me, yeah, I'm not too sure. 46, strips, parts for the grating, cannonballs. Very nice. 47 loads of strips and grating once again 48 we have uh, some string some eye bolts and some blocks 
and some cannons and some wire. This is all for um, rigging the cannons, I believe. 49, we got more cannons and more rigging parts for rigging the cannons, I believe, again. Pack 5! Pack 5. Pot 50, we have parts for the belfry. Uh, and some thick wood parts, not sure what they're for. I believe this is for lining the cannon. Um, supports. 51... Let's try to find 51. 51, we have the rudder, parts for the lamps, uh, yeah, that, that's actually quite nice, huge rudder, absolutely massive, put that all to the side, 52, we have decorational pieces, um, for making, oh, got ladders actually, in there as well. And some strips, 53, some plain old strips, 54, oh this is a big one, massive amount of strips, don't know what they're for, have another bit here I believe, this is for, oh this is for planking the deck actually, that's exactly what it's for, planking the deck, uh, this is for making the poop deck I believe. Those are planks. Nice. Alright, so 55. We have another cannon and some strips of wood. 56. We have the little cover things for gallery. Loads of strips as well. Loads of them. And some little plywood parts in here and I'm not too sure what they are uh, 57 loads of strips of wood all different sizes once again 58 we have parts for the skylight which is nice we have the knees for the decking making things for making the flag lockers I believe and more grating. 59 we have pieces for decoration like uh, I think these are some of the poles things like that. Stairs, loads of these plywood pieces not sure what they're for and different size strips once again. Um, We'll move on to pack six now, which is right in front of me. Pack six, uh, six sixty. Here's some more of this yellow stuff. Yellow acrylic sheet. Um, got some more decorational pieces here. Cannonballs. Grating. Sixty one. Oh, Sixty one. 61. Uh, more strips. Uh, this is the first part you get for good old mast. That's what it's for. Making the fighting tops. The this this is where it really really starts to get tedious making these masts. I can already tell and enjoy it a lot. Huge 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 strip of wood for the mast. I believe this is for the main mass because the main mass is the one that you build first. Because the main mass is the least visible if you think about it. So the more practice you have, the better it looks. So the one that you build first is the most covered up because it turned out the worst. More parts for the mass, the dowels. More parts for the fighting tops, things like that. Rigging blocks, eye bolts. 64 more dowel uh, we have some decorational pieces for the sides of the hole here eye blocks uh, more eye blocks string decorational pieces and 
dowel strips, things like that. 66. That's 89, that should put that in the wrong place. Did, or did we just. I'm not sure where 66 is. I think I may have accidentally put it in 99 because I'm not the yeah, I have. I can see it. This is 66 because um, 66 and 69 are very similar, so I've messed it up. Have parts for the netting, loads of decorational pieces. Um, some wire. Of course, I'll go more in depth into all this when I actually start the build process. More fighting tops, eye bolts, huge mast, 68, very nice, 69, cannon, eye bolts, masts, dowels, pack 7 now, that's the end of pack 6, pack 7 we have... Uh, more dowels, strips, wire, uh, blocks, things like that. 71 we got. These are smaller uh, blocks this time. Loads of wire. Have pieces here for the yards, I believe. As you can see, that metal die cast piece. Uh, so that's nice. 72 is. Uh, ma, 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 ma. So, um, I'm not sure what that is exactly, those little ribbed pieces. Uh, they have loads of decorational pieces. Oh, I know exactly what this is actually. This is for making the little side pieces um, on the side of the hole that hold together. Um, all of the rigging, I, f I forgot what it was called, but they have loads of eye bolts and things like that on them. So this is going to be a lot of work. 73, a little issue this time. Cannon, netting, wiring, and more little pieces, photo etch there. 74, we got the... The door covers, strips of wood, 75, got dead eyes, uh, loads of eye bolts, little metal pieces, thick wad of wire, 76, this is a very heavy one. We have the start of the decorational pieces for the bottom of the hole, loads of cannons, uh, blocks, eye bolts. Some little strips as well. 77, more fighting tops, more strips, uh, more dowel. Have some string, some um, eye bolts as well. 78, we have another dowel, another strip. Loads of decorational pieces uh, for making the pin. Um, what are they called? Pin. I'm not sure, but it has all these pins in it, um, so that's that, 78, more blocks, masts, uh, got some fighting top things there, 70, that's the end of that, we'll move on to pack 8 now, which is uh, 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 this one here, Eight, issue 80, we have some more parts for the lanterns, uh, small strips, um, more dowel, wood, wire, got some little skylight pieces there, sorry not skylight, the lantern pieces that align it, wire. 72, we have um, string, uh, those more rigging pieces I believe, 
Um, these are some of the supports for making the um, uh, the the doors for the cannons on the hull. Because I'm going to start. That's when you start doing them. AC three. Loads of as you can see here. We have the decorational metal pieces on the back. Very nice. More lantern pieces as you can see. Strips. 74. Grating. Some ladders. Some more strips and some pins. 70. I've got to cover 81, I think, actually. Unless I have two 81s. Yeah, I've got to cover 81. 81. Got more dowel, more string. And more thicker wire. 85. Very thick piece of dowel. Don't, I think that's for making the front decoration. Uh. A snapped piece of um, thingy uh, strip, which is not that nice, but with wood you can put it together quite easily, so I'm not too bothered. We have some front decorational pieces. Uh, 86. 86 was 86. I may have already covered it. I've lost track, to be honest with you guys. 86. I'm not. I think I may have put 86 in the 68 bit by accident, probably. Um. Yeah. I, I'm 98. Sorry. I'll check actually, because that could very much. Be, yeah, I have. Like I like I said, these numbers do get very confusing. Cause yeah. Um. 98. More decoration. I'm gonna really enjoy doing this decoration. That small little painting. Have parts for the mast. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna put the mast on, to be honest. But no, this is hammocks. That's what it's for. Uh, the hammocks that go around the edge, and has some netting. More detail parts. Here we have very thick rope for starting the. Um, yeah, there's loads of that uh, for starting the rigging. More string, more dowel for yards, things like that. That's the end of pack nine, eight, nine. I'm not too sure. I've lost track. There's so many pieces. I've lost track. I I truly do apologise, but I'm uh, so many numbers and pieces start to lose my mind a little bit. Uh, ninety. Huge, huge, huge clump of string, absolutely massive. And then we have wire, more netting, 91, 91, 91, 91, 91, 91. Where's 91? 91. Some decorational pieces, more pins, dead eyes, more string for rigging. 94. Two is here. There's a string, there's a dead eyes. 93. I have parts for another lantern. 94. This is a very heavy one actually because this includes another anchor and part for the uh, cannons which go inside of the hull. And some very thick string as well. This is the thickest one I've ever seen on this model. I'm not sure what it's for exactly. Unless it's for the anchor, but it has gotten a bit of knot and knotted. Um, 96. 95. 95, sorry. I have another carronade. And more face fetch parts. 96. Some more decorational pieces of the hull. 97. Loads more of these for the covers uh, of the cannons. And I believe these, these are the strips to make them. 
98. Loads more of these cannons. Rigging pieces. Another sail. And a new part of rigging, which is that. I'm not too sure what that's called. That's the only other I'm not too sure what it's called. Uh, sails. More cannons. Dead eyes. I may have to split this unboxing into two parts actually because it's absolutely huge. Hundreds. We're on to pack 10. Pack 10. No, this is pack 11, sorry. This is pack 11. I'm back to track, back on track now. We have loads of these little eye things, cannons, sail pieces. 101 sails, more cannon parts. 102 sails, dead eyes. Uh, block, sorry. 103 mast cannons. 104 uh, some cannon strips, things like that. 105 sail, more rigging pieces. 106 sail, more rigging pieces. More cannons on the side, 107, more huge cannons, sails, blocks, 108, we got more of these little sail rigging parts, sails, yeah, 109, we have another part for a smaller boat, this one's very small actually, I'm not sure what this boat is called in particular because they do have all kinds of names oh look at all of that decoration that looks incredible wow yeah that, that's incredible right so that's pack 11 covered on to the last pack finally this unboxing is very long 110 amassed and parts for dead eyes, things like that. And I keep saying dead eyes, their eye bolts. More mass pieces. 111. I can see it there. Masts, blocks, cannons. 112. Got more masts. A little sail pieces. Sails here. 113. We have masts, uh, sorry, we have the victory decal, <clears throat> and we have fabric, um, I don't know if you can see that, it, it's hard to tell, I, I was a bit worried that it wouldn't be fabric, um, and I would have to replace them, but they are, which is very nice. Here we have another anchor, more cannon pieces, 115. We have a longer boat. I'm not sure what this is called once again, but this is the the one that you could paint in green. I know that. Um, next, we have last parts for the cannons. And 17, we got some chain here. I believe this is for the rudder. And some more dowel. Some little strip of brass. 13 we got. Uh, more strips. Uh, some. This is for the. As you can tell, this is all for the next little boat here. 117. Which, oh yeah, I've already covered that actually. 117, 118, we got another boat, uh, so there's four apparently, which is interesting, it's, it's, these boats take absolutely ages, but I'm alright with that because they're different every time, so it does change up a little bit, because the Augustini really do try uh, to make them as different as possible, but yeah, here we have 
119 Wolf flags Union Jack St. George's flag I believe I've covered 120 by accident Or have I not? Yeah, this is the last part of 120 The victory decal So yeah, that's it And then of course you get your figures Little die cast figures 184 scale I'm not sure whether I'll put these in or not uh, but I surely will make a lot of decisions further on in the project so just to give you the full skate things this is the full kit absolutely huge loads of work but I'm not too bothered because summer's coming up of course and I don't have a lot of things to be doing apart from working so why not uh, so I'll explain now how my videos will be looking um, for the next couple of months or years depends how long this takes I expect it to be years to be honest um, basically uh, what I'll do is I will I'll uh, do um, one video of um, a plastic model kit a week and then another week I'll do a victory updates and builds so basically you get um, a plastic kit every two weeks and the victory every two weeks as well um, so yeah basically that's it huge kit it's going to take months and months of work I'm very much looking forward to it though um, all the tools that are provided there very nice so yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed uh, hope you stay tuned for the build that I will be doing on this it's sure going to be a lot of work, but I hope you guys stick around to do it with me. This is this build has actually been very long. I may have to split into two parts, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.